Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Are you excited for another story? I know I am. So let's get started. Today I'm going to tell you about the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the great battles. The Muslims after migrating to Medina with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam were beginning to settle down. The message of Islam was spreading. The Quraysh in Mecca, after finding out all this, became furious. They decided to attack the Muslims and kill them all. So the disbelievers in Mecca made a plan and made a big army of men, camels and horses and started moving towards Medina. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, found out about their plan, he gathered all the Muslims and talked to them about this. The Muslims were only a few hundred at that time. The Muslims promised Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that they would fight till their last breath to defend the message of Allah. The two armies came face to face at a place called Badr. On, the, on one side was a huge army of kuffar disbelievers with all their idols. On the other side was a small army of Muslims who had Allah by their side. Allah had promised Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for his help. Soon the battle started and the two armies fought. Allah helped the Muslims by sending down angels. And so Muslims defeated the big army of Kuffar and killed most of their leaders. The Muslims brought back a lot of goods and money, which was later used for the spread of Islam. The Kuffar in Mecca were really angry on their loss. They wanted revenge, so they started planning an other attack. They gathered all their men and made a big army again. They started their journey, journey towards Medina. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, found out about their plan and he called the Muslims to prepare for another battle. The number of Muslims had increased now and they had better weapons. They were confident that they would win. The two armies met at the place called Ohud. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, appointed a few men behind the mountain to defend. The battle started and Muslims, with the help of Allah, started winning. The kuffar started running away. The Muslims who were appointed behind the mountain got greedy and left their place disobeying the Prophet as the Muslims left their place, another army of Kuffar attacked them from that side and Muslims were off guard. The Kuffar killed many Muslims and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was also injured. News spread that Prophet وسلم, had died and Muslims lost all their will to fight. The battle ended and Muslims lost a lot of their men. Then Allah revealed in Quran that it was Allah who helped their small army to win in Badr against a big army of Kuffar. The Muslims disobeyed the Prophet وسلم, and got greedy for goods and money and this was the reason they lost. The Muslims should not feel proud of their number. Victory only comes with the help of Allah. This loss was a lesson for Muslims to correct their faith and follow what Prophet Muhammad وسلم, tells them to do. After the victory in Ohud, the Kuffar were really happy. They wanted to attack the Muslims again and kill them once for all. They planned an other attack and with a huge army started moving towards Medina. When the Muslims came to know about all this, they gathered in Masjid al Nabvi to plan for their action. There, a man named Salman Farsi suggested that Muslims should dig a trench around Medina. This was this way, the Kuffar will not be able to attack them. All the Muslims with Prophet Muhammad وسلم, started digging the trench. It was a really hard work to do in such hot weather. They worked day and night and finally they were able to complete their task. A trench was dug all around Medina. Finally, the army of Kuffar reached Medina. On seeing the trench, they camped outside Medina. They stayed there for a lot of days, but were not able to enter Medina and harm the Muslims. Finally, Allah sent a big sandstorm. 
that destroyed all their camps and goods and they were left with nothing. The Kuffar had to go back to Makkah without a fight. The Muslims won without any fight or bloodshed. So that guys was about the battles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and your family. Fi amanullah.